Alam niyo ba na ang pangalan ng intramuros ay hango sa salitang kastila na intra ang ibig sabihin ay loob at muros na ang ibig sabihin ay pader. Did you know how the wall city started? Let me tell you. In 1564, Spanish explorers led by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi sailed from New Spain and arrived on the island of Cebu. On February the 13th, 1565, establishing the first Spanish Capitania in the Philippines. Having heard from the, the natives about the rich resources in Manila, Legazpi dispatched two of his lieutenant commanders, Martin Ligotti and Juan de Salicedo, to explore the island of Luzon. The Spaniards arrived on the island of Luzon in 1570. After quarrels and misunderstandings between the Muslim natives and the Spaniards, they fought for the control of the land and settlements. After several months of warfare, the natives were defeated and Spaniards made a peace pact with the Council of Ra Suleiman III, La Candula, and Ramatanda, who handed over Manila to the Spaniards. Legazpi declared the area of Manila as the new capital of the Spanish colony on June 24, 1571, because of its strategic location and rich resources. As the city was in constant danger of natural and man-made disasters and worse attacks from foreign invaders, in the 1574, a fleet of Chinese pirates led by Limajo attacked the city and destroyed before the Spaniards drove them away. The colony had to be rebuilt again by the survivors. These attacks prompted the construction of the wall. Fort Santiago was rebuilt in a circular fort known as Nuestra Señora de Guía. The tower was designed by a Jesuit priest named Antonio Sideno. The fort is one of the oldest stone fortifications here in the Chamorros. The main gate of Fort Santiago is decorated by a wood relief carrying off Spain's patron Saint Santiago Matamoros. In English, it is Fort Santiago. In Spanish, it is Fuerte de Santiago. In Filipino, it is Cuta ng Santiago. In 1663, Balwarte de San Diego. The durability of the fort was tested in 1762, while Manila was invaded by Great Britain. The Bulwarte was damaged and breached by the British forces with cannon fire. It was restored when the Spaniards returned to power after two years of Britain occupation. But in 1863, it was damaged by an earthquake. Until 1979, when the Intramuros administration excavated and exposed it after being hidden for decades. In 1992, it was restored and repurposed to public and become a public park and events place. Join me as I am about to explore Intramuros. The main square of the city of Manila was Plaza Mayor, later known as Plaza McKinley, then Plaza de Roma. At the center of Plaza de Roma is a monument of King Charles IV of Spain, which was erected in 1842 in his honor for having sent the first batch of smallpox vaccine to the Philippines. This is Plaza Mayor, also known as Plaza de Roma. Part of the Plaza Mayor is the cathedral named Church of Manila, officially established in 1571. Let's go there to Palacio del Gobernador, also known as Gover Governor's Palace, built in its current form in 1976. At present, the building houses the Intramuros, Administration, the Commission on Elections, and the Home Development Mutual Fund National Capital Region. On the right side is the Bureau of Treasury, also known as Ayumiento de Manila. Ayumiento was the ancestral house of the executive legislative 
and judiciary branch of the country. It was used as the meeting place for Philippine Assembly. Inalamin natin ang mga kalimang mga kapatid, ang balang sa bayan ng Diyos, sa buong Haiti. But did you know that the present structure is actually the third time? Because the first San Augustine Church was completed in 1571 but destroyed by a fire in 1574. During the attempt of Limao to conquer the Manila, it was rebuilt again but destroyed again by a fire started when a candle ignited during the funeral service of Governor Peñolosa. Quarte de Santa Lucia was constructed during the governorship of Jose Basco Vargas in 1781, but in 1901, the Philippine Constabulary used the building as their headquarters, and in 1905, it was opened as a military school for the Philippine Military Academy but now it is located in Baguio. The building was destroyed during the World War II. Galeria de los Presidentes are the artworks depicting the former presidents of the Philippines. The Bagumbayan Light and Sound Museum is one of the main attractions now in Intramuros, showcasing the history of the Philippines and the Filipinos' journey to freedom. The man-made the man-made golf course was established in 1906. It is one of the most the the first golf courses golf. in the Philippines. The Puerto Ria, or known as the Royal Gate, was used by the Spanish Governor General for state occasions. The gate was destroyed during the British invasion in 1762. Puerta del Parian is one of the eight gates served as the entrance of the wall city. Puerta del Parian means gate of the market, as this was the place where many enterprising Chinese traded. Baluarte de San Francisco de Lao, it was built in 1592 by the Spanish government to detect threats and invasions by other countries. It was destroyed during the American liberation from the Japanese occupation in 1845. Now, the area is surrounded by 14 cannons. The Mapua Institute of Technology can also be found here in Intramuros. It was founded on January 25, 1925 by Thomas B. Mahua, who is the first registered Filipino architect and civil engineer, Gonzalo T. Valles. Another university that can be found here in Intramuros is the Colegio de San Juan de Tran. It was founded in 1620 and has the distinction as the oldest college in the Philippines and the secondary institution in Asia. Pamantasan Lungsod ng Maynila is also located here in Intramuros. Naging presidente ng Mexico. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my video and learn something new.